So is it time to start looking or maybe entering to some of the stocks that are in the Singapore property sector, right? So, you know, I've talked about many of the sectors like the banking sector, the REITs, the oil and gas sector, but a lot of people have asked me, you know, Joey, what about the Singapore property sector? Are there any stocks that you're looking out at? Or, you know, can there be uh, levels whereby you can start to think about accumulating some of them? Hey guys, Joey here, top tier reminds you in Philip Securities and Chief Trainer at Trading Impulse. Right, so today is the 7th of September, right, 2020, just before the market opened. And we're looking at just two stocks that mix up the Singapore STI index, the property sector, right, and they are capital land and city development. Now look at these two stocks and see where are we right now and could there be some opportunities right to accumulate some of these stocks if we hit certain levels what's the trend like are they still you know going down and levels that you want to be careful all right this is what will be covered right now as we look into capital land and city death as of 7th of september 2020 So this is Capital Land right over here as of the 7th of September, right? 2020 and we are currently trading at about $2.75. So before I dive into where we are right now, let me just do a quick recap, right? So what happens was you know, just last year, right, for Capital Land, you know, there were some signs of a good uptrend forming. Look at this right over here, it was like slowly sloping upwards. Let me just draw an upward sloping channel support line right over here so it's pretty much in a gentle uptrend right over here in 2019 and look, look at this right the red line this 100 days moving average is also kind of like above right this blue line pointing up you know and you know it's like both of them are pointing up but what happens was when COVID-19 hit or right, we kind of broke down all right just right over here in February March we broke down this green channel support line let me just remove this line right over here okay and what happens was the red line, look at this red line, it kind of U-turn back down and we kind of cross back down below the blue line. So in terms of the trend, we kind of change from an upward sloping trend to a downtrend somewhere around, you know, April, March when we broke down below that channel support line and also this, the moving average start to turn down as well. All right, so in terms of you know, trend wise, I would say that there's some still signs of weakness in terms of mid to long term. You know, we're still below this red line. In fact, right over here, you can see that we rebounded somewhere in May, in June, it hit this this red line, the 100 days moving average, and we kind of rejected it and pushed back down again. And right now, we're still pretty much below this red line, right, which is at about the $2.90 level. Okay, so the trend wise is still down, I would say, for now, right? But let me just zoom in into where we are. So we're currently trading about two seventy five, and in terms of the support level, we're seeing it at about $2.70 to probably about $2.60. This would be the near-term support right over here, about 2 70 to 260 right over here so somewhere around that two dollars and 90 cents that would be the consolidation range for now in fact over the past one month we have like you know traded from like about 270 somewhere around 290 and that's where sellers is coming back okay if you want to just extend it a bit more probably to about three dollars right three dollars would be a huge psychological resistance level you can see that right over here you know, since march april may we have kind of touched that level and came down and it is also a psychological resistance and that's where sellers would come back again all right so this would be uh, the upside targets i would say if we do see a bit of rebound coming back so right now it's pretty much in a consolidation and a slightly a bit more bearish right than previously than last year when we kind of broke down that 350 support and we broke down that three dollar support and kind of hit all the way down but right now it kind of stabilized a bit but still in a consolidation from about two maybe about 260 to about three dollars i would say about a 30 to 40 cents range and that would be uh, a bit of a consolidation for now so if you're looking to buy on dips right yes i mean probably near this good support levels about 270 to 260 right around here as i mentioned because it kind of rebounded in march around that two dollars and sixty cent now it's about 270 so these are all good levels that we're really going for the longer haul long term all right these are all good levels but you can start to accumulate on this but just take note right look at this right we are pretty much back to this multi-year lows right since 201 to 2013 right over here yes we've kind of rebounded from this 270 260 so these are all good support levels but just take note you know because 
right now you know this whole entire COVID-19 situation is still here and you know if sales are hit earnings are hit for these companies for property sectors all right that's where we might still see weakness especially if we break down below that 250 to 260 support level that's where we might see a bit of weakness coming in all the way to about you know 220 level but so far all right these are all good support levels you know STI have kind of hit down to near that 2005 same thing like the banks property counters have kind of you know retrace back down to some of the levels again whereby you can potentially start to accumulate but do take note of you know the potential that if you do break down right the support of the breakdown we might still see weakness because all right the mid to long term trend is still down for now all right and you want to take note of the support level so let's take a look at city development right over here city dev on the 7th of september all right so kind of looks a bit similar to capital land all right and in fact you know just in 2019 just before covid hit all right we kind of uh you know, pretty much an uptrend but we broke this support at ten dollars right away look at this right this ten dollar support come kind of broke down and that's where some really heavy selling came all the way down and we sold off until around six dollars six fifty and it kind of rebounded all right so right now right we are currently trading at about seven dollars and 95 cents and in terms of the trend all right in terms of the mid to long term trend you know, there are some signs of weakness you look at this right the red lines i mentioned for capital land this red line has come kind of turned down and come kind of cross below all right these 200 days moving average blue line so in terms of the trend it's a bit more weak for now especially if we are still below this blue line okay so resistance wise i would say is somewhere around that 850 to around that nine dollars level look at this right away in fact we can't rebound it to around nine dollars we can't touch that level push back all right and sellers came back to push it back down and right now we're just below that eight dollars mark so right now i'll say you know anything below this 850 to nine dollars um that that's where we can still see a bit more weakness and that's where we might actually rebound to and sellers can come back down again all right right over here 850 to nine dollars would be a critical resistant level right but in terms of the support right eight dollars used to be a good support right away over the past um two months but it seems like you know over the past one to two weeks we can't really stay above that eight dollars level this is where the moving averages is as well for you know the 20 days moving average and this red line is as well all right so we might see a bit of weakness you know if we do stay below that eight dollars level right so eight dollars would be a good psychological support and if we do stay below that eight dollars and the market continue to weaken all right and that's where we might see a bit more selling pressure coming in um all the way to about 740 to 750 that would be the downside on um, targets for city development right and if you're looking to accumulate on dips yes that would be a good level again all right that was where we kind of held above for about two months in may we kind of rebounded from there in may and june from about 740 750 so that would be a good level to start accumulating again all right for city development all right but just take note if that 740 were to break down that's where we can start to see a bit more selling all right all the way to about 650 to six dollars that was the low we've seen in february march but we're not going to that but right now a bit of weakness i would say if we do hang below that eight dollar maybe about eight dollar let me just shift this up a bit about eight ten you know about eight ten to eight dollars so yeah anything below eight ten to eight dollars um that's where we might still see a bit of weakness and let's take note of these downside targets to about seven dollars and forty cents to seven dollars and fifty cents so we have pretty much covered the two singapore property heavyweight counters and if you do like this video be sure to smash the subscribe button right hit the bell hit the notification so that you will be notified when any new videos like this comes out and of course give me a like as well so that we can reach out to more people right thank you so much for doing that joe here